bring to you, coming to the stage, Dr. Bounce Back. Yo, what's up? We are finally back to get over the hump. It's Dr. Bounce Back. You already know what time it is. We going into our second season of Get Over the Hump. I've been missing you guys. I've been thinking about everything that I should have been doing last season, recording with you guys. I done put together some new content, and it's time to go, baby. Yeah, we are back. Get Over the Hump second season is back. But before I dive into our first video, I just want to give you guys a brief overview a brief overview of who I am and why I do this get over the hump stuff. Why I'm, in, why I'm actually in the motivational speaking industry. Why, why I even want to do this. See, I'm going to tell you that this is a purpose. It's a life purpose that I dove into and it really turned into a passion. See, a lot of people don't know about my life story. I encourage you to get connected with some of my social outlets so you can learn more about me. I'm the guy that went through getting stabbed with a sword. I'm the guy who went through incarceration. I'm the guy who went through motorcycle accidents, car accidents, and through all that, I'm still here. That's why I love that statement, that quote, I'm still here, because that symbolizes me. That's Dr. Bounce Back. That's why I'm here, and that's why I'm delivering messages to you. Maybe it's somebody out there that need to help, that need help getting over them, hum them humps in their life. Maybe it's someone out there that don't truly understand how to respond when adversity hits. That's why I'm Dr. Bounce Back. That's why I do what I do, and I am strictly here to make you think differently. I am a me motivational messenger. I send messages to change the way people think. I want to make you think differently. I want to challenge you to take your life to another level. I want to challenge you to not do something that you've been doing that you know isn't right for you. So right now it's time for Get Over the Hump Youth Edition Episode 1. I hope you guys ready. All you grandmas out there, all you moms, all you sisters, cousins, uh, uncles, aunties, everybody, get the kids. Get them in front of this camera right now. Get them in front of the screen because it's about to go down. Today's message is about putting your childish ways aside. <laughs> it's about putting your childish ways aside. Now, this is a universal message right here. This is for you grown-ups, and this is for you kids. Because all the youth that's watching this video, I can bet that you are between the ages of 12 and, uh, let's say, 21. Let's say 12 and 21. And when I say put away your childish, put aside your childish ways, I know some of you are thinking, like I'm actually a child. No, I'm not necessarily talking about your age bracket because truth be told, it's grown men and women around here acting like kids right now. Now I'm talking about that lack of responsibility, that lack of accountability. It's time to start holding yourself accountable for your actions. I got an 11 year old son and I, and I asked him, you know, okay, I get your progress update every week. And I got his progress update right now today. And I asked him, you know, what, what about the things that your teacher is saying? What about the fact that your teacher said that you turned in one out of five daily assignments? What about the fact that your teacher said that, that you were easily redirected and you're just talking in class? You know what his answer to me was? Well, she didn't tell me to turn them in. Well, she didn't tell me to stop talking. It doesn't matter if she told you to stop talking or not. You know your responsibility and you know what you should be doing at 11 years old. You, you know what you're supposed to do at school. You know you're supposed to turn in five assignments. So that's what I mean by putting your childish ways aside. You don't have to be told everything before you do it. You don't have to have outlined instructions before you do it. Because if you do, you're going to be sitting around waiting for something to happen and nothing is happening in your life later on down the road. Now, some of you parents out there, you're acting like the kids that you were supposed to be raising. How are you going to act like a kid and expect for them to follow you effectively? Yes, this is a universal message and I'm calling out parents, guardians, grandmas, uncles, and I'm calling out the kids. It's time for everybody to put their childish ways aside and start growing up. It's time for you to be responsible for your future, young man or young woman. It's time for you to be responsible for the success that you will obtain one day. It's up to you. 
It's not up to your parents. Yeah, we're going to motivate you. Yeah, if a, a good parent is going to give you everything you need, and a good parent is going to hold you accountable. But after the, at the end of the day, it's up to you. It's up to you to actually put those footsteps in motion. It took me forever to put away my childish ways. I'm going to tell you, I thought that being a man was really all about walking around with his chest poked out, showing his ego, and responding to situations with aggression or in a physical manner. I thought that that's what being a man was all about, but true enough, truly I was being childish. Those were my childish ways, and I didn't even know it. 15, 16 years old, I thought the only way to solve a problem was with these was to go out and do something physical or have a combative conversation with somebody. But when I put those childish ways aside and knew that I could fight, I could fight a battle way better with this right here than I could with these, that's when things started happening for me. When I started realizing that I can think through situations versus forcing my way through them. It's a quote that I like. If you can think through any obstacle, you can remain unstoppable. And who quotes that? Dudley Thurman, Dr. Bounce Back. That's who quotes that. So I'm telling you right now to put aside the childish ways. It's time to start growing up. Yeah, you're going to be, yeah, you're still young. I know you're probably a teenager, but still put, put aside those, those childish things. Don't allow your parents to have to order you and tell you everything that you know you should be doing with your life. It's time to put those things aside. I think about the movie Hidden Figures. I just now saw it. Oh, little Kat Johnson. She put away her childish ways at like nine or ten years old. She was standing in front of those classes teaching them like a grown woman. She put away those childish ways. And guess what? She went on to accomplish great things. And when she grew older, she really had to put on her, her, big, her big girl pants and start really operating as an adult because she was constantly being knocked off her, her route, being knocked off her ladder. She couldn't get the opportunities and the respect that so many other people was getting because of the times and days that she was living in trying to do what she was trying to do. But she kept going. She continued to persevere. She continued to see her vision. And she went on to accomplish great things. And what makes her any different from you? Nothing. Nothing. She's a human being. She bleeds. She feels. She does everything that we do as human beings. So what makes her any different from you? You are capable of doing great things. You are capable of accomplishing great things. You are capable of doing things that you don't even know you're capable of doing. But you must put aside those childish ways, believe in yourself, and be prepared to put rubber to the road and go make it happen. So on this season of Get Over the Hump, we are strictly reaching the root, the youth. And on this episode, we are talking about putting aside your childish ways. So I'm challenging all of you out there to put your childish ways aside. Put them aside. And let's make something happen. It's Get Over the Hump Youth Edition. It's Dr. Bounce Back. And as I always say, it's money over everything. No, it's not. It's MOE. Not money over everything, but mindset over everything. Ha <laughs> ha. It's your guy, Dr. Bounce Back. I'll see you back next week on Get Over the Hump Youth Edition. I'm challenging you. I'm making you think differently. I'm calling you out right now. Don't be afraid to step to the platform and watch this video. Holla at your boy. Peace.